What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be taking a look at a little planetary crafting defense survival whatever game called D-Land or Dayland or D-I-Land or I don't know. I honestly have no idea how to pronounce it, okay? I get a lot of games and they do not come with phonetic pronunciations for like all of them. And so I just make it up as I go. I just make it up as I go. We'll start a new game off and we'll kind of see what happens here. I honestly... Oh, look. Planets. Space. And then the Tyranids came. There they go right there. The Tyranids are about to land. They're in their hive ship. Their hive crystal. Is that a naked lady crystal? That is among some of my favorite kinds of crystals. In both print and, and digital media. Ah, oh, weak. It's a naked dude crystal. The wrong crystal landed on my island. Just saying. Amazon Prime, you should take care of it. Press SP to start. I don't know what SP is. A new day begins. There's a lot of work to be done. First, I'm going to collect some berries from the bushes by the lake. Okay, so get two berries from the bushes by the lake. All right. Uh, we're on our little planetoid over here. As much as I dislike using that word. Uh, are there berries over here? What is that? SP, go fishing. I love fishing, but first I gotta make a fishing rod. Okay, I don't think that's gonna help us out too much. Uh, we got a rock over here. I don't see a lake around. Like, that's kind of like a lagoon. I have no idea what that thing is. Hmm. Berries? Oh, maybe it's trying to tell me where to go. Maybe I'll listen. Oh. Well, there you go. Okay. So there's some berries right there. It's gonna take a little while till that gets refilled, but that's alright. We'll pick that up right there. All right, cool. So we got the berries. I have only managed to collect a few. I'll come back for more another time. All right, sounds like a plan to me, dude. You do what you gotta do. Ooh, spaceship! Yay! Attention, Interstellar Patrol. Moon speaking on a reconnaissance mission. I'm currently on a strangely tiny planet. Never really seen anything quite like it, but it seems to be uninhabited. I, I don't know that it's actually uninhabited. I'm down here. Just want you guys to know that. I'm wearing socks with sandals, but I promise I'm civilized. Who are you? Hello. Hi, I didn't realize you were here. I didn't think anybody actually lived here. I live here alone. My name is Arco. I'm Moon, an explorer of the Interstellar Patrol. This is the first time I've ever visited this planet. It's called D-Land. D-Land. Okay, it doesn't really appear on the radar. It's like it appeared out of nowhere. Um, I see that you've built a settlement. It would seem you're a handy kid to have around. I'm sure you're going to make D-Land a very pleasant place to live. I'm going to help you. First, you're going to need to plant and harvest your food if you don't want to go hungry. Yeah, what a great idea. I've been getting tired of eating wild berries. Look, I'll show you how to make a hoe. Get back to me when you're done. There's probably a joke here, but it's probably markedly inappropriate. So, why don't you make a hoe to cultivate the soil, then talk to Moon again. Okay. Uh, I can enter this place at home. It looks like I can forge in here. It takes wood and stone. And it looks like I already mystically have those things? Okay. Sounds good to me. I'm not going to question it too much. Uh, Moon, I've made a hoe. Great. I see you're good with your hands. Close to the flatland where your tent is. That land looks fertile. Here, plant the carrot seeds over there. All right, thank you. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go plant some carrots then, I guess. Yeah, that definitely looks fertile. We can sow seeds over here. All right, so let us sow the seeds of carrot. Now I can use the hoe to plant all kinds of seeds on the planet. I'm going to look for a place near water to plant two pine nuts. Okay. Can I plant other stuff over here? I need to build... Wait, what? I need to build another well so that I can work more land. Okay. So the place near water was like... Where was the place near water at? Can I plant stuff over here? Nah, take that! It doesn't appear to be hoeing land the way that I prefer to hoe. Apparently my hoeing skills are out of date. I haven't been hoeing hard enough. 
Uh, spaceship, don't really need you right now. Uh, we can sleep to revitalize our energy levels. We've got a hoe too. Okay. Um, place near water. I don't suppose there's like a place near water over here. Yeah. I don't see anything too crazily useful over there. I mean, that's water right there, but the... I don't know how I plant the pine nuts. Oh, I can just do it like that. Okay. Yeah, put the put the pine nuts right there. Okay. That was easy enough. Pine nut down. We're going to grow a pine nut tree over here. And then to plant, I need to press E. We'll put this one like right here. Good. Now all I have to do is wait for the trees to grow and I'll get more seeds. All right. I mean, sounds good to me, man. Do what you got to do when you're out here making an orchard. Don't wait for my approval. Uh, do I need to talk to her again? I planted the seeds. Now all I have to do is wait for your crop to grow. Well done. Many farm products are edible and they will help you overcome hunger. Moon, I'd like to know how to learn to make things. Of course. In that case, it'll do for you to have your own hammer. It'll also be useful for breaking stones. I'll tell you how to do it. Go on. I will follow your instructions to the T. Okay. Let's go make a hammer real fast. Apparently, tents are the perfect place to forge tools. It looks like they give me all the stuff that I need in order to make some of these things, so... No harm, no foul right there. Uh, how do I swap out for the hammer? I also need to figure out this whole menu system thing that they've got going on. It seems to be partially denoted. There we go. So, as far as status goes... Maybe he just whips it out when I want to break rocks. Maybe that's what it is. Yep, that's exactly what it is. He just whips it out when we want to break rocks, so that's good. Let's break a couple of rocks. We'll throw a couple of those in the inventory so that we're good to go. And my guess is that next, she's going to be like, Hey, yo, dog, I heard you like crafting. Hey, I found minerals in the rock. She's going to be like, go make an axe. And I'm going to be like, okay. And then I'm going to go do it. All right, so that's finished off. Let's go back to the spaceship real quick. Hey. Now I have a hammer. Good job. With time, you're going to get more skilled at building structures. Look, I'll show you how to make a campfire. It's real easy. Okay. But I don't have enough wood. That's true, and I don't have any more wood left for you either. It looks like you'll just have to chop down some trees. There you go. How, how did Splatty know? How did Splatty know? It's almost like he's played survival games before with tutorials. It's almost like he's played it before. Now, let's go chop down this tree over here. That's what this tree gets. Hey, hey, tree, what you trying to do right now? I guess I'll pick up the seeds. Seems all right to me. Can I chop this one down over here? Yeah, take that thing out. Get rid of it. That tree don't know us like that. That tree just got taken care of. So now I've got a log. Yeah, I'm going to chop this one down, true. I'm going to chop it down because why not? We might as well. And so now we got a couple of wood inside the inventory. Oh, we get plus three every single time we do it. That's pretty sweet. All right, do I have to talk to her or can I just make the campfire? Hey, Moon, I've got an axe. Great, but remember, try to maintain the balance between the trees you plant and the ones that you cut down. Here, have some extra seeds. Thank you. I'm going to build a campfire. It'll help you keep warm on cold nights. Now you can source materials. Use the hammer to get stone and the axe for timber. I'll manage. Okay, sounds good to me. Uh, let's put a little campfire out here. So, like, how do I, how do I build a campfire, y'all? How, how do I make that happen? What's up with my what's up with my campfire life here? Maybe I make it from inside of there and it just upgrades straight onto the side of this. You haven't gotten enough materials. I can make improvements to my house or I can sleep. Okay. Uh it looks like we've got carrots growing over here, which is probably a really, really good thing. I guess I'll bust up a couple more rocks. What luck! I found more minerals. Okay. Thank you for telling me about it. Shuby. That's what his nickname is now. His name, I don't know what his name is, but his name is Shuby from now on because he wears socks with sandals. Alright, so let's swing. I'm gonna get like 10 rocks together. I don't know if my hammer is gonna break at any point, but I'm not gonna stress about it. I'm not gonna concern myself with it. We'll break that up right there. Go ahead and bust up one of these cats right here. Can I just, like, hit this one forever? It looks like I can. It looks like this is actually, like, a node that you can just sit on for a while. Okay. I still have no idea how to make a campfire. I assume that maybe I need the wood, but let's go ahead and sleep real fast. 
All right, so we can go with R or we can go with E. Agility increases your speed and your defense against physical attacks. Resistance makes your health points and your altered states. I would like to be faster. Let's press R. Looks good to me. I like the production values, though. The game is very pretty. Like, I like the way that it looks. Like, all the little, like, tarot cards and stuff like that are really cool. It's a simple game so far, but I like the way it looks. It doesn't need to tell me every time I get minerals, though. Like, I, I really don't need to know that. Like, I'm, I'm okay with it. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but, like, at the same time, it's like, eh, oh. Apparently, there's... Why can I build now, but I couldn't build before? I don't know. We'll make a campfire, like, right here in front of our house. There we go. Perfect. It's finished. I should probably light it. Yeah, light that thing up. Go for it. Wow, feel that heat. It's good to be by the fire. You can use a torch to transport the fire, too. But be careful. Fire can be really destructive. Oh, it's dangerous? I'll bear that in mind. So we've got a new recipe for a torch. Let's explore the planet. I'd like to see if there's anything interesting. There is a construction on the hill. Here, come here. I'll show you. I was going to say, there was a there was a thing over here. I don't know exactly where it's at, but it was like a little relay beacon or something. I don't know what it was. It looked like a little teleportation spot. What is that? What What is that right there? What What is... I don't want to bust up the rock, but it looks like we can put a bomb or something in the crack right there and blow it open. Get a little bit of that Zelda action going. Uh, where was this place at? I don't even know what I'm looking for right now. Maybe I just caught the angle wrong. Playing the game on a sphere is kind of odd. So see, there's a thing right here. Look, lady. Look. Love me. There's a beautiful thing on a hill. It makes me more adorable. Here it is. Just a second. According to my data, this is an ancient altar. A crystal altar. When I get back to base, I'll look for a little bit more information. Look, Mun, my pendant has started to shine differently. Monsters, let's get ready for combat. Uh-oh. Where are they coming from? There's a mushroom over here. There's a mushroom over here, too. I'm going to pick them both up. What a monster's at? Let's do battle here. We got to do honorable combat. Yeah, take that. What? How come you got a gun and all I got is a hammer? Hold up. Hold up. That ain't right. You got you to gotta arm the masses over here. You can't just leave me over here without a weapon. Like, if you got guns and stuff, let me know. I'm getting tooled up right now. Who knew that, like, a weird interstellar radish would be so violent? You'd think they'd be peaceful and almost friendly, like Slime Rancher. Like, they would just want to be your friends. Yeah, get bucked on. Poof. You did well. Maybe one day I'll be able to make, or I'll be able to take you on other adventures. I'd love that, Moon. I I got to leave now, but it's been a pleasure meeting you. Thanks for the visit. Of course, I'll be back soon. Meanwhile, look for D -Lan look after D-Land and defend it from the monsters. I will. Good lad. Until next time, Arco. Where I live, there's a place called Arco Arena, and it's where you go to see concerts. Well, luck, we got a few more criminals. Nice. So, she blasted off and abandoned us. However, we do have some carrots over here. Oh, cool. It'll start raining soon. Rainwater helps the trees and crops grow faster and produce their fruit. If I build a well, I can save the rainwater for the drier days to come. Oh, I didn't realize there was going to be, like, seasonal stuff happening. Okay. Uh, yeah, build a well. What does it take to build a well? The controls of this game are very, very odd, by the way, in case you didn't know. Like, they're... They're a little strange. Like... The, the annotations for the various activities you can do, like chopping and stuff like that, like it's got like left click and like right click labeled as SP, I don't know what that means, but I assume that's going to be changed later because on some of the menus it has the right keystrokes and maybe it's just because I don't know what SP means, maybe that's what it is, maybe I'm just ignorant, maybe I'm just ignorant. So like it's raining right now, let's build a well and put it like right here. Looks good to me. And, like, if I wanted to, you can improve the field in order to increase its production. I don't really want to do that. I wanted to harvest my crops, but I don't necessarily know how. Oh, you press 1 to move things around. Okay, gotcha. Makes sense. So we've got some carrots over here. Does it just keep growing? How many carrot seeds do I have? Out of curiosity. 
We've got gold ore. We've got pine nuts. We've got fungi, poisonous, poisonous toadstools. Okay. I think energy points. Oh, we're hungry right now. Okay. Uh, how do I SP so I eat it like that? Okay, eat that. Yep. Make it happen, Captain. I have a feeling that there are enemies close by. I need to deal with them without delay. Okay, let's go deal with them. Let's go deal with them without delay, like you said. What happens if I don't deal with them? Do they, like, overrun us or anything? Does it cause problems? Well, this one's a little tougher than the last one. I wonder if I get to build turrets or something later on. Make this a little bit simpler. I mean, you get a bunch of XP for banging on those things, so... Doesn't seem to be too bad of a plan. Can I dig up stumps or anything like that? I can? Yeah, dig up that stump right there. Like, we could always use more wood. Like, I'm going to do constructions and stuff tomorrow. Right now, we don't really have time for it. But let's go ahead and we'll bed down for just a minute. Uh, we're out of energy anyway, so it's probably a good time for us to get some nap times in. I'm curious to see what happens with this game. Like, I really am. The concept of the game is really interesting. It's a pretty game to look at. Uh, let's go ahead and cut that down very rapidly. And I'm going to plant another orchard over here just so we have the opportunity. Yeah, plant pine seeds over here. There you go. Perfect. We'll plant another one over here. And we'll put one right here. We'll put one right over here. And we'll put one maybe right over here. Yeah, I just want to have a bunch of trees on this side. So that I got a place to get more seeds and more wood later on because... I've got a funny feeling I'm going to run out of stuff. So we need a bucket in order to draw from the well. That right there says it has a little while going. Uh, we can sow seeds over here. Yeah, do carrot seeds. And then for this one over here, I have to build another well. Are you sure? Can I just move this one and, like, scoot it over slightly? I feel like I placed it off center and now I'm being punished for it. I didn't know. I thought I was going to be physically taking the water myself to all the various areas. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, if I go inside of here, we can upgrade the workshop. 12 out of 20, so we need 20 wood. To make a bucket, we need 4 wood. So, yeah, make a bucket real fast. Alright. Let's see what happens with the bucket. So, we got a bucket of water right now. And then... Does it, like, speed up the harvest, matey? It does. It speed it sped up the harvest by... A lot, actually. Wow. Uh, press the R button to choose a landing place. Okay. Uh, you can land right there. Perfect. And we get XP for that, so it's not like it's a waste of time either. We're, like, progressing our character. That dropped the amount of time it took by, like, half. What's up, man? Hello, Arco. How is everything? I can see you're getting on well. Interstellar Patrol is very interested in your little planet. The supercomputer X has started processing the data, but it needs more information. That's why I've brought a sensor to gather data about D-Land. Humidity, precipitation, wind. Uh, the sensor is battery powered, but you have to make sure it doesn't turn off while taking its readings. Keep it on until my next visit so we can get some valid data. Okay. You'll hear a warning when the battery is running low, and then you'll have to start turning the crank quickly. Start data collection. Alright. Apparently, I gotta charge it, but... Like, how do I know when it's fully cranked up? Like, how do I know when this thing's balled out and cranked? Oh, the battery up at the top right. Okay. So, it's gonna sit there and it's gonna do its thing. Okay, so I gotta talk to her when it's at 100%. For right now, that's not really gonna be a concern. Let's keep gathering wood, because we need that to upgrade our workshop and get new items that we can craft and make our lives maybe a little bit easier. If I get a sword or something like that, I don't think I would be against it. I don't think I can do anything with the bushes. And actually, I don't honestly know if there's more trees around. Oh, she took off. She actually left. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Let's pick up some toadstools then while we're out here. Um, I think the berries were around the backside of this place. We could grab some more food. Probably wouldn't be the worst idea to stock up a little bit. No, don't cut it. Absolutely don't cut it. 
Oh, well, apparently they got a bunch of time left until they're done. The bush just farted at me, so I'm going to leave. That's very, very impolite bush, and I don't appreciate it. Oh, it charges a bunch every time I crank it. That's no biggie. Uh, we got a little bit of giggity giggity goo. Uh, another mushroom? Yeah, I'll take another mushroom, sure. We don't know what we're going to need mushrooms for, so maybe later on they'll become a bit more useful. Inside of here, we've got our forge. We can make a torch. Don't really care about that. I'd much rather make that right there, but I think we're going to have to wait until the trees are actually fully grown over here. They still got a little bit of time left on them, like a minute or so. And the rest of our planet is pretty much barren. And honestly, for self-sustainability's sake, we probably won't even want to harvest those right when they first get done. Instead, we'll probably want to harvest them right about the time that they start growing seeds. Let's get in here and we're going to do some harvesting. So let's get some of these carrots back. I assume that it's numerically accurate. We get three each time we do this. All right, so, yep, we get plus three carrots every single time. And we probably replant using one. Yeah, we replant using one of the carrots. So we put one in, we get three out. Seems like a decent deal to me. Uh, the sensor's got plenty of battery left, and we're a little bit low on energy, so let me sleep for the rest of the night. I don't know if that actually physically accelerates time in-game, but it does not, because the sensor's not any more done than it was before. Go ahead and crank that real fast. I can't make a fishing rod yet. I would love to make a fishing rod. That'd be super fantastic, but unfortunately, it's just not going that way. Let's go ahead and harvest this on up. All right, and we'll throw that back in there. So we got five carrots now. I don't know why it wants me to build another well. Like, what if I take water over to this? Can I fertilize it, maybe? Nope. I thought maybe the ground just needed to be fertilized a little bit further, but I guess not. So, like, what does this thing do over here? And what is the best way for me to interact with it? It's got, like, a little crystal in the middle of it. Huh. Stuff to think about for later, I assume. That's probably going to be the crux of the storyline right there. But for right now, there's not really a whole lot to do aside from just kind of sit around. If I light the fire, can I do anything with the fire? I don't want to light a torch. I was just seeing if maybe I could cook stuff in there. So we got no water left. So unfortunately, that's not going to work out for us. You guys got any seeds or anything left to go? We got like four minutes until seeds show up. So I'm just going to wait this out and see what happens with the... Uh, a little sensor array over here. Well, we've got a visitor to our land, so that's something new. Uh, I'm going to tell him that it's okay for him to land, like, right over there. That looks good. Maybe he's a trader or something? That's quite the Zeppelin apparatus right there. So what are you? Yep, he's a buyer slash seller. What's up with you, man? You want to talk? Hmm, beautiful planet. Hey, uh, who are you? Hello, young man. I'm Locke, a magician who trades in potions. A magician? Yes, unfortunately humans can't use magic directly, so we have to settle for the essence of magic, which we keep in potions. And that's my specialty, and of course old books and stories. I really like those colored bottles. You can look, but don't touch anything, unless you're going to buy it, of course. I don't have any money. No matter, I'm sure there are interesting things on this planet. Bring me anything that you don't need. Okay, let's see, I got a few things in my bag. Uh, what do you, what do you, what do you want? You want some, some Limicus? There we go. I can give you some fungi, some toadstools. Like, that should get my coinage up right there. I think that get my coinage right. A little bit of poison right there. Yeah, let me get paid. Good deal, boy. I have a job for you. As you can see, I like to decorate my space balloon with pretty fabrics. So, I usually buy a new swatch as a fabric from every place I visit. The quality of the fabric depends to a large extent on the cotton that's used. I'll give you some seeds, and in return, I hope you can provide me with a quality piece of fabric. Oh, thank you very much. I won't let you down, Mr. Locke. Okay, so apparently we can make fabric. I can't really grow anything right now. All my fields are taken up with carrots, but... You know. Maybe someday. I got a few more seeds from our trees right there, so I think it's not a... It's probably not a terrible idea to keep these things growing. Like, I want to keep the, the wood supply blowing up, and I'm not trying to, like, run out of trees or anything like that. So I'll probably let those grow for a little bit and let them, like, do their thing. Some of them still have a couple minutes left until they get more seeds. And if we get two seeds out of each tree, we should be able to make ourselves a fairly thriving forest by the end of this entire thing. At least that would be what I'm assuming. Oh, he left. 
I didn't know he was going to leave. All right, man. I'll see you later. Have fun in space doing Spaceman stuff. Bye. So how long do these have until they seed again? Those got like 40 seconds. Okay. So those are going to take a minute. The toadstools seem to be pretty good for generating revenue. And so we got 42 coins or whatever. I wish I could have had a time to take a look at his wares, but eh. Sometimes you try your best and you don't succeed. Is what it is. Uh, my name is Splattercat. This game is called Dland. If you liked what you saw so far, I think the game is intriguing and I'd like to see what's going on with it. I think the controls need to be tightened up ever so slightly. But that's really my only complaint so far. The production values seem to be pretty good. As far as I know, it might be like a mobile game conversion or something like that. I don't know because I don't do my research because I'm bad at my job. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for stopping on in. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. It helps out more than you know. On top of that, the other thing that you can do is check out the game in the description down below if you wanted to wishlist it or whatever. It's not going to be out till August, but hey. It's never too early to get excited about some things. So, I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on by, and hi-do, everybody.